Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Nagios, and today we're going to be showing you how to install Nagios XI using VMware Workstation. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to navigate to Nagios.com and we'll scroll down until we see Nagios XI right here. We'll click download free trial. In here, we'll go into a VMware. So download for VMware. And we'll be downloading the OVA file for Workstation Pro right here at the top. Now you'll notice that if you go under Microsoft, you'll notice there's another OVA file here. These OVA files are the exact same, so it does not matter which one you install. Once you click the download now button, you'll put in all your information here and you'll click download. You'll be redirected to a download screen. I already have the OVA file here on my machine. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and switch over to VMware Workstation. Prior to following the next steps here, please have your VMware set up and ready to receive a VM. Since this is a OVA file, all we need to do here is click open a virtual machine. We will then need to navigate to where we have it saved. There it is right here. We'll click open. Now here you can name your virtual machine, whatever you would like it to be. For the sake of this example, I'm going to name it XI. And below it, you can change the storage installation path by clicking browse. For the sake of this example, I'm going to leave this default. Once we are satisfied with our selection here, we'll click import. As you can see here, XI has finished building the virtual machine. Right here are some pre-selected specifications for our virtual machine. As you can see here, it is bridge, which means it'll automatically connect to our network. If this is an offline installation, you may want to click edit virtual machine and disable the network adapter. We recommend you use at least two gigabytes of memory or RAM here and at least two processors or cores. If you're satisfied with these specifications, we can click power on this virtual machine and VMware will finish building the XI virtual machine. All right, the XI virtual machine has finished building. As you can see here at the top, we have an IP address along with some default credentials. The first thing we're gonna to need to do here is go ahead and use those default credentials provided by the XI VM and log into it. So we will use root and Nagios XI. All right, now that we're logged in with our desired web browser, we will go ahead and navigate to our virtual machine here. And as you can see here, you're redirected to the XI page. You can click access Nagios XI, and you can begin walking through the final installation process here. For the sake of this video, since we're going over installations, we won't be covering these final steps here. We have great documentation on how to get through these steps though, which we will have linked in the description below. Now that you have Nagios XI up and running, the next video is gonna walk you through some of the most powerful features you can utilize immediately.